I'm Stanley Edwards. I'm the founder and director of Platypus Digital, who have developed the Ogle application, which is available on three different platforms, kiosk, mobile, and web. And what I'd like to demonstrate to you is the kiosk application. So essentially on the kiosk, we've got two screens. Our top screen is a digital signage screen. So this is part of our revenue stream for the, for the kiosk, where we sell advertising to brands and corporates. It's also a messaging platform where we can have messaging running up on the screens for the school, for the retailer, for whatever environment it's placed in. The bottom screen is our touch screen where all the inter interaction takes place on the kiosk. So the kiosk is very interactive, touch screen driven. The first thing we want to do on the kiosk is for the new user to register on the kiosk. And why registration is important is that, for example, if a learner took off a video on magnetism, we can send them a text message the next day saying, if you answer these four questions, you'll be rewarded with two rands worth of airtime or a free Coke with your Streetwise 5. Um, or we can, we, so we can monitor and reward them for taking off content and reviewing content and answering some questions. It also allows the teachers and the headmasters to be able to see what their learners are taking off the kiosk to be able to monitor them and to be able to see what they're interacting with. So the first thing a new user will do on the kiosk, as I mentioned, is the registration process. So registration is very simple. We just need a name, a surname, a mobile number or an email and the user would select a 4-pin Ogle ID. So next time they come on, they'll just use that 4-pin to register. And as I said, registration is important for a number of ways so we can then monitor our users on the kiosk and build up sort of data, usage data on them as well. So once a learner is registered, essentially what they're going to be doing is going through four selections which we've got in the kiosk. At the moment, education, en edutainment, entertainment and payments. And I'll go through each of these separately. So essentially what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be selecting content and services of the kiosk which I'll build up as a selection and when I check out in my basket afterwards obviously I'll, I'll pay for or I'll download the content that I need. So the first thing we'll look at is education. Again very simple, all user, all very simple button interactive driven. So grade, select your grade, I'm in grade 12 and here I would list all the subjects that are relevant to grade 12 and these can be customized per low school or per location. So let's look at accounting. That's what I'm looking at at the moment. So we'll select manufacturing accounting. So what I've got here now, I've got a smart textbook or my print material that comes that's relevant to that lesson. And I've also got a video clip which I can preview. So this video clip is from SABC Education, a series called Matrix Uploaded. I can preview the clip to see that it's relevant. So it's not a case of watching the content in the kiosk. I'm going to be selecting it, putting it in my basket to take off afterwards. And this is all, all the education content is curriculum aligned um, content um, which is free for the user to take off the kiosk. So if, I'm, if I want that content, I just simply add that to my basket. So what I'm going to be doing is I'll go through all my school's content, all my education content, and I'm going to be building up a basket of content that I'm going to be taking off on my USB stick once I'm finished. So I would then go through all my, all my, all my education content and build up a, the basket of content that I need to study for that term or for that year. Next selection I'll go to is edutainment. So edutainment is education content but is more entertainment driven. So National Geographic, Discovery, BBC Education, Bill Nye the Science Guy. Um, and also some, some of this content is free and some of it is premium content which would be need to be paid for. So National Geographic for example might be a paid for piece of content. We've got three, three pieces of content from Deutsche Welle. The first one is Future Now which is a series about technology and how technology is changing our world. Global Ideas is about issues like global warming, um, using wind power, and those sort of things which affect our lives and how we can harness those sort of, uh, those sort of ideas. And Learning By Ear is, a, is an audio series of 270 episodes of audio podcasts of 10 minutes. It's all about entrepreneurs and how entrepreneurs have made a difference in their communities in Africa. So it's stories about entrepreneurs, entre entrepreneur development. So again, I can preview that content. This is, I said it's audio. So I'd go exactly the same process. I'd listen to the piece of content. What I can also do, if I think that content would be relevant for someone else, I can email them or SMS them a link to that piece of content. I'd put in their email address or their, or their mobile phone number. They would, be, they would get a four pin link and they would then come click on the link button to be able to retrieve that content very easily.
So it's a nice way to share content via the kiosk platform as well. So let's just go back and what I'll do again, I want that content so again I'll add that to my basket. So as I said I'm building up a basket of content which is relevant for me which I want to take off on the kiosk. The next selection process I go through is entertainment content. So the entertainment content is all premium content which is paid for content. So there would be a cost attached to each piece of content. So we've got music, movies, audiobooks, documentaries, TV shows, all sorts of education content and, the, select, and the, the process of selecting is very much the same. So let's say I just choose an um, album, I can select and preview each track separately and I can select and purchase each track separately as well. So I don't need to buy the whole album, I can buy tracks separately as well. And I'd go through the same process with movies, with audiobooks, with TV shows, with documentaries. So the process is all very much the same, very simple, interactive, touchscreen driven. The last option is payments. So payments allows us to be able to, or user, to be able to purchase airtime, pay the telecom bill, purchase electricity, do bill payments, um, purchase ticketing, so all sorts of transactions which can happen on the kiosk. How these are paid for is once a, register, when a, once a, a learner registers in a kiosk or a user registers, they get given a mobile wallet which they, trans they transact on their phone. A mobile wallet acts very much the same as any bank account. You have to add value into that, into that bank account or to the mobile wallet, which you do via EFT, via direct deposit, um, via mobile to mobile. And once you've got value in your content, you can then pay for content or airtime or any sort of other service on the kiosk via your mobile wallet. So once you've finished, as I said, you go to your basket at the end, I can now select and still select and deselect content I might not want. If all the education content is free of charge for the learner, there's no cost. The entertainment and some of the education, ed entertainment content is, is premium content which gets paid for. If this content needs to be paid for, you would select your payment mechanism, which you would select your mobile wallet. You would put in a four pin code as you would with any debit card or credit card. It would deduct that off your mobile wallet and you will be able to then um, take the content off the kiosk. So once I've selected and done my fine selection, I've done payment for services I, I, that, I, that I would need to pay for or, or, or entertainment or in edu edutainment content. I then choose the method of downloading it. So as I mentioned, all I've been doing is selecting a basket of content to take off the kiosk on the device of my choice. I've got a USB flash drive. You can download any other digital memory cards. You can download via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth onto, directly onto a tablet or a mobile phone or any sort of other device that's got Bluetooth or, or Wi-Fi on it. So all I do now is I take my USB stick and I'm going to insert it into the kiosk. So we've got USB and multiple memory card slots which people can download so you can bring any memory device onto the kiosk. The unit would look at my disk, it would download it directly and they will see it's actually done already. So it's downloaded it to my device, it reads the space on the, on the memory stick, downloads it directly and I just take out my USB stick and I've got my content on, onto my USB stick. I can then take this content and then view this on another device, a DVD player with a USB port. Um, there's various devices that now play USB or you can, as I said, you can, if you've downloaded it directly to your, to your mobile phone via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, you interact with that exactly the same way. So a very simple process of being able to select, very interactive, very simple, button driven, um, very simple to use. A couple of other options we've got on the kiosk as well, we've got a Dropbox feature where if, for argument's sake, we wanted, someone wants to deliver a large a lot of media or content to someone, we can use a Dropbox facility. A user would then just come to Dropbox, put in a four pin code and download that stuff directly. We've also, learners can follow us or users can follow us on Facebook or Twitter. They can follow us on our blog, they can email us. Um, and we've also got a Twitter feed running at the bottom as well. So as I said, the kiosk is a very simple a plug and play device. Um, we have got connectivity to our central service. We can update and monitor content um, remotely overnight. So the content's always refreshed and new. So when new curriculum content comes in, we basically can put that on immediately overnight. And it's all about delivering content um, at no cost, no need for a computer, and no need to pay data charges. So very exciting um, way to deliver digital content.